If you've never heard of the town of Ceres, California, well, you probably aren't alone. Located in the San Joaquin Valley, this predominantly Hispanic community is part of California's agricultural belt. It's also home to thousands of folks who commute to and from the San Francisco Bay Area for work. Just like any other city in America, Ceres has its fair share of crime, and it has an efficient police department dedicated to law enforcement, with just 56 sworn officers to serve the area's 46,000 residents. The Ceres Police Department works hard to be effective at fighting crime, while at the same time maintaining a positive relationship within the community. It takes a lot of pride in proper training, discipline, and efficiency. Its administration also isn't afraid to think outside the box when exploring solutions for equipment needs. In 2014, Lieutenant Chris Perry did just that. Through a special grant program, Ceres joined the ever-expanding number of law enforcement agencies that are incorporating electric motorcycles into their fleets. The grant program made it possible to obtain three new Zero DSP police units. Trying to be progressive at the police department here, I, I, I came across the grant and uh, immediately I was pretty intrigued by it. I had heard a lot about the electric motorcycles, being an avid motorcyclist, so uh, when I saw an opportunity to potentially get a few of them for our department and, and try them out, I thought, why not? Um, I worked uh, in conjunction with representatives from the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution District. They were great and easy to work with. And in about six months, we had three of these uh, electric motorcycles sitting at our doorstep, and they've been great ever since. It was a bold move, and it marked a radical departure from the traditional Harley-Davidson police motorcycles used by the department. But the positive benefits of the change were instantly noticeable. It cost us about a dollar a day to run one of these motorcycles versus 15 or 20 dollars a day to run a gas-powered motorcycle. So the cost alone, you know, when you're 